The processor market has become a lot more competitive and interesting over the last couple of years, with Intel and AMD launching new models in a tit-for-tat game of one-upmanship. This is great news for consumer and business PC users alike, as this competition has led to faster and more powerful CPUs. Today, Intel is launching the first in a new range of 11th gen core processors codenamed Rocket Lake. And whilst we can't show any benchmarks in this video, we can talk through the new models and highlight some of the key differences compared to existing 10th gen core processors. The two main goals of the 11th gen processors was for Intel to regain its lost lead in single thread performance, with a claimed 19% performance increase and adding in support for PCIe 4 graphics cards and SSDs. Although most Z490 motherboards will support the new 11th gen core processors after a BIOS update, you won't get the full benefit of PCIe 4 and other I.O. improvements. Instead, it's recommended that you pair an 11th gen core processor with a motherboard based on one of the new 5 series chipsets. There are several of these with the usual Intel naming structure. Z590 at the high end with the most PCIe lanes and USB ports, then stepping down to H570 and B560, and finally H510 with ever-decreasing capabilities. Next, we'll give you a rundown of the key specs of the new Intel 11th Gen Core processors, plus their immediate predecessors, 10th Gen Core processors. Intel is introducing two new 11th Gen Core i9s, the 11900K and 11900, plus additional versions without an integrated GPU, which you can spot by the addition of an F at the end of the model number. The biggest change that's evident on the new 11th Gen Core i9 is that Intel has actually reduced the number of cores, down from the 10 cores that the 10th Gen 10900K had, to just 8 cores in the 11th Gen 11900K. This is the first time that a CPU company has downgraded the core count. Intel is clearly hoping, however, that the claimed IPC improvements and addition of PCIe 4 will still make 11th Gen Core i9s an attractive option. The changes between 11th and 10th gen Core i7 processors is less pronounced. Once again, there are two main models, each of which also has an F version without an integrated GPU. The number of cores and threads remains unchanged at 8 and 16, respectively. Interestingly, clock speeds are slightly down gen on gen, although we'd expect the performance loss from this to be more than made up by the claimed 19% IPC improvement, PCIe 4 and faster memory. There's also a new range of 11th gen Core i5s, one for every equivalent 10th gen Core i5, with a smattering of F models without an integrated GPU thrown in for good measure. So in summary, renewed competition in the CPU market means PC enthusiasts are now spoiled for choice when it comes to choosing the perfect processor. You'll have to wait a little while longer until we can show any benchmarks, but we hope you've enjoyed this introduction to the new range of Intel 11th Gen Core processors. Why not tell us what you think of the new 11th Gen Intel Core processors in the comments section and which one tickles you fancy? The new CPUs and associated motherboards, RAM and coolers are available to view at scan.co.uk. Alternatively, our award-winning 3XS systems team can build you an awesome new Intel-powered PC. Thank you.